Uh, last thing I wanted to mention, and probably the most important, is uh, I was really concerned. These servos are incredibly strong, and uh, if a servo fails, and I've had it happen on a radio control plane, it, it'll typically bury itself at one end of the travel to the other. Now, I've set the upper and lower limits, but I was worried that if the servo was to fail, it could deflect uh, that trim tab by a lot more than what I, I normally use for trimming the airplane. So what I've done is I've mounted a kill switch. So I've got a power a kill switch that simply interrupts the uh, power going to that servo test unit. And what I typically do is I set my trim for takeoff and for landing and then I kill the power. If I ever had a runaway servo, I don't have an instance where I could get a severe deflection of the trim tab and have it overpower the elevator on me. So, you know, from a safety point of view, I think this is critical, is making sure you can interrupt the power to that unit. Again, if your airplane will use a manual system uh, where you've got a manual cable, I would go with that. You know, anything electronic has kind of more points of failure to it. I've always had trouble with the manual, so the electric trim is working out really well for me. But, you know, I make no guarantees on this. I'm not an AME or anything. Uh, I'm using parts from the hobby store. Uh, you know, safety first. I'd go with a manual system if you can make that work for you. But this electronic trim, so far it's working really well for me.